What's up, Charlie? In this episode of unboxing, we will unbox this and see what we have in the box. If you can hear some strange sounds, it's because it's raining here in Accra, Ghana. And I couldn't wait to unbox this, so forgive me for that um, fizzy sound. Just so you know, this isn't a sponsored video. Apple didn't send me this. Let's go straight ahead and peel this off. So over here, you see a mark here with an arrow pointing down. So you just hold this and then pull it down. It makes it easier. Unlike other stuff that you need uh, a knife or a sharp pointed something to be able to take it off. Apple made this one easier for us. So I've taken the rubber off. We have a MacBook in the box right in front of us. So let's put it here and then raise it up gently gently like this Ooh. awesome okay so this is just the top of the box and this is a macbook lovely sleek so let's just raise it up here like this and ooh. This is the 13 inch. I'm used to the 15 inch, so this looks small to me, but it's cute. Yeah, this is our object of interest. Let me put it here, and let's go ahead and see what's in the box. Um, this, I think, is the manual. Yes, it's the manual and some other, you know, quick start guide thing. These days, who reads these things? We have videos on YouTube with much more info than these guys. This is a charger. Of course, it's smaller than the 15 inch version. And oh, it's type C. And this is the power cord as usual. Type C. So this one end goes into the charger and then the other end goes into the MacBook. Um, let me see. So I think basically that's it. Really? One, two, three. That's all. Three items in this box. So let's just uh, turn this over. So the spec for this particular system is 8 gig RAM, 256 gig SSD, and it's a 13 inch. And it has the Apple M1 chip. Let's take off the rubber before we continue. Put this over here. Then open this. Wow. I mean, I love how this is protected. See, there is this uh, protective case on the screen. I love it. So I'll go ahead, power it on, and do the setup but for now let's go a bit into this now this is the new m1 chip what i currently use is the intel uh-oh so the lady is asking me to <laughs> do my setup i'll deal with you later what i currently use is the 2016 macbook pro with 16 gig ram and 512 gig of ssd and it has a dedicated graphics card with 4 gig RAM, which takes me through the things I do. Retouching, using Photoshop, Capture One, and then my YouTube video production using Final Cut Pro. Currently, the downside of the M1 chip is support for most um, applications. I tried installing Photoshop on one recently and I went through a whole lot to get it installed. I'm sure by now support for Photoshop has been resolved. I'll Try it on and then see if that has been resolved. And I'll let you guys know in the comments. The question now is, will I want to buy this for the kind of work I do? Well, with 8 gig RAM, I'm not sure yet. Apple recently announced the latest version of the Apple M1 MacBook. For me personally, I won't buy this yet. I'll wait for the release of the newer ones because I prefer something 16 gigs so that when I'm retouching in Photoshop, I won't experience any lags. I know the M1 chip is powerful enough, but 8 gig RAM, I don't think I would want to 
gamble with that yet. Are you a creative using the M1 MacBook? If so, let me know down below how it's going for you. Do you like it? Have you had any bad experiences or something? Let me just know in the comment section below what you think about it. Now, let me go set this up. If I find anything funny, I'll pin it as a comment so you get to know. I hope this has been informative for you. And I'd like to thank you for watching.